Hello guys, welcome back. Today I will be uh, making uh, chicken do piazza biryani. So it's another version of biryani where uh, you have tasted a lot of biryanis, but uh, this is a different version. So you have uh, eaten uh, chicken do piazza, which is a gravy. So it's the biryani version of that. So you can see this onions big onions so these are what the main ingredient of chicken do piazza and that's why it's called as do piazza um, just watch the whole video and uh, enjoy the recipe thank you please uh, note down the ingredients 400 grams of chicken depending on uh, the number of persons Sliced onion for frying. Uh, this shape onion for uh, the piazza look. It should not be more bigger than this. Uh, three uh, tablespoons of curd. Two and a half uh, tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. One big uh, tomato. Some more onions uh, for uh, marination and. Uh, sliced potatoes uh, mint uh, green chili coriander uh, garam masala um, is called as a garam masala which is cinnamon bay leaves cloves black pepper uh, cardamom then uh, marination masala is red chili turmeric uh, this Rajasthani uh, chili uh, coriander jeera masala garam masala black pepper salt long grain rice so I will be uh, marinating the chicken so I will be making uh, the mixture for marination of the chicken so add all the tomatoes add all this masala add the curd add these onions so in this recipe you will require more onions because by the name of it it's called as chicken do piazza biryani so I'll mix it up and be right back so this is the mixture I'll add it to the chicken Just give it a nice mix. Add uh, one tablespoon of ginger garlic paste. Mix so it. Let it marinate for uh, 20 to 30 minutes. Uh, we'll be uh, now preparing the rice. As you can see, uh, the water is already boiling. I'll add uh, all this masala and all the rice. We will be uh, cooking the rice uh, just uh, three fourth, one fourth uh, will be. Uh, left cooking when we keep it on steam so 
so keep uh, let it boil for one minute and see uh, the rice if it is cooked properly and then we can remove it and drain the water so just uh, before you, you remove the rice add some oil not much add one teaspoon of salt let it boil for some time half a minute as you can see the rice is already uh, cooked so we'll drain the water and keep it aside and we'll start making the masala add 2 tablespoon of oil add cinnamon clove cardamom pepper add some ajwain fried the onions these are the sliced onions so fry it until uh, it is uh, light brown or golden color don't fry too much So as you can see, the onions are soft and golden. I'll add uh, green chilies. Uh, fry it for like thirty seconds. Don't fry it too much. I'll add uh, some garlic, ginger garlic paste. Two teaspoons is enough because we have already added in the marination. Just fry the paste uh, masala so that it is well uh, mixed up with the onions and the onions have that taste. Add the marinated chicken. Just cook it. So stir it properly. Mix the so that the ingredients are uh, mixed and the chicken is cooked well. Let it cook for around. Uh, 10 minutes and we'll see after that so as you can see the chicken is almost partially cooked and uh, we will be uh, not cooking it uh, full uh, so that uh, when we keep it for uh, steaming with the rice it is almost uh, it gets almost cooked automatically uh, we will be adding the potatoes and the main ingredient which is the do piazza looking onions we uh, are adding this now because we don't want it to cook much uh, and get uh, dissolved when we add it now it gets 
uh, cooked and uh, when we eat it so it, uh, we still get these pieces of onion which gives it a do piazza look so mix it well Let it cook for uh, five to ten minutes. Keep on checking. So uh, you can see that it's uh, almost uh, the onions are soft. Now uh, to give it some earthy smell, we have heated some oil. I'll just add it over here. Add the coal and we just keep it like that. Cover it with silver foil paper. And we'll let the coal fragrance uh, uh, get well uh, mixed with the overall uh, uh, masala content. Uh, so we'll keep it for around five minutes and then uh, we'll go ahead and add the rice so let's uh, see uh, how it is we'll remove the cover so all the cold smell is already there inside the masala we'll remove this We'll add pudina and coriander. Just uh, give it a good mix. and now we will add the rice so adding the rice just spread it add some food color and cover it again with the silver foil paper and this and the cover put some weight on it uh, we will be cooking it on a lower flame for around 20 minutes and then we'll see if the biryani is ready so let's check uh, it's almost 20 minutes uh, the biryani should be ready Wow, it smells good. You can see the rice is cooked properly and I'll just check inside. The potatoes are cooked uh, and the chicken is also you can see and the two piazza onion uh, I'll uh, start doing the plating for this 
So you can see uh, the do piazza, the onions are quite well cooked. The potato is well cooked. Uh, the chicken is quite tender. You can see how easily it is getting separated. I'll add some garnishing, coriander and mint. So uh, this was a very uh, quick way of making chicken do piazza biryani, and it really tastes good. Um, you can you have uh, tasted a lot of biryanis, but just try out this recipe and subscribe to the channel, like and share. Thank you.